Hi, and welcome back. So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about changes to a person's identity when they have been scammed, or at least they're, these are common changes that happen for people and effects on identity that happen for people. And, and so first of those is the idea that you are stupid. So I know I've talked in a couple of videos already about how that is one of the most common things that I hear and that is an effect for people is that there there's this voice in your head that keeps saying, how could I be so stupid? How could I have fallen for this? And every shamey or judgy person that you talk to that knows that it, you reveal this to them and they say that dreaded phrase, how could you fall for this? Then it just strengthens that voice within us. And so this aspect of questioning ourself and doubting ourself and our ability to discern when someone's lying, our ability to navigate the world and take care of ourselves with intelligence, this is all questioned now. And so this part of your identity has, we'll, we'll say it's taken a hit, right? And, and so this is one aspect of a change in identity that I'm definitely going to encourage you to work on changing back to where you don't doubt your intelligence level. You don't say to yourself that you're stupid. And hopefully this series of videos will help you do that. Another aspect of identity that changes is trust in yourself. And I know I've talked a little about that too in past videos. However, it is important to think of in terms of your identity as well, because this is a part of yourself that says, I can't trust myself. And that needs to change as well. So I'm going to encourage you to work on shifting that back. And of course, that is very much intertwined with doubting your own intelligence, doubting whether you can take care of yourself out in the world. You can. And you will get through this and start feeling better. But these are some aspects that, um, that you need to work on, right? And another piece of this is beliefs about yourself. So this requires a little bit of explanation or background. Um, so beliefs or core beliefs or internal beliefs generally center around ourself, beliefs about ourself, others, so beliefs about other people and the world, beliefs about the world and what the world is like. And from the time we enter this world, we're beginning to develop these beliefs. So infants are learning already. Can I trust th this world, right? Can I trust what's happening to me? Am I being taken care of, right? So can do I get taken care of? Am I safe here? All kinds of beliefs are developing from the time we're very, very small, and that continues throughout our life. Big events such as this will affect our viewpoint, our beliefs about the world and other people and ourself. And um, influential people will, will cause those things to change negatively or positively, right? Or or possibly just in a different, you know, they're changed and it's not positive or negative. But all all the time we are developing these beliefs or refining these beliefs. And so I would encourage you to think about what that means for you. If this has meant I can never trust other people now. That might be extreme, right? If it has meant for you, the world is no longer a safe place. It was before this happened. Now the world is not a safe place. Then perhaps that needs some thought and some refinement to be to more appropriately fit who you are and more appropriately be helpful to you as opposed to harmful to you. I hope those are helpful thoughts and in the healing series of videos, then there will be a little bit more about beliefs 
and changing beliefs and thinking about how those beliefs are affecting you. But for now, hopefully these thoughts are helpful. If nothing else, they're validating in what you're, um, what you're sensing within yourself and give you some direction to take, to take that information and use it as a benefit for yourself. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you in the next video.